Hello, everybody, from wherever you're listening from. This is another podcast of Alice Mike's po- Podcast. Thank you for listening. This is another episode of uh, Music Fridays. We're going to be talking about, of course, new music that came out on Spotify. What is new music that's been released overall? But I use the platform of Spotify to get uh, the new releases or so. It's one of the most popular uh, platforms out there for new music and also going to be updating about content that is that came out that i've released and future content as well and uh, we're going to talk a little, little about uh what happened during what uh what i've done um this this week the this end of march beginning of april so uh we're gonna, i'm gonna start off with the um so I'm gonna start off with on Sunday. I, I for the first time I um, made tri tip. Not to be bragging, but it came out really good. Because it being the first time, it came out a good medium rare, closer to medium, but um, nice and juicy. Didn't dry out. Area that ate it loved it. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it was just a lot of patience. Definitely not like um, doing like like a regular carne asada with carne carne ranchera. Was just make sure you have good heat. You put the the piece of meat there, and then uh, you know, a couple minutes, three minutes or so, two minutes. One side, you flip the other side, and there you go. Now it depends on, of course, how you like the meat. If you like it. You know, a little on the rare side or your medium side or burnt. I know somebody likes it burnt. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, when you, uh, of course, when you go with the thicker pieces of meat, like steaks or you know, as, as or thick as a tri-tip, what I'm finding out, the mo- most important thing is, of course, you want to season your meat. You want to prepare. You want to add it as much flavor as possible you, as you can. I, I like to um, season my meat. Uh, from a day before it uh, definitely if I have the chance, you know, and on the tri tip, I definitely, um, got mustard and, uh, first I actually, I put avocado oil first and then I put a uh, mustard on it. So then the seasoning will really stick to the meat and I left it, uh, you know, I, I put seasoning. I'll keep that a secret. <laughs> uh, everybody has their own taste. Everybody has their own uh likes or so i mean just go whatever season you like but definitely season your meat season it from from actually i season it from two days before this tri-tip and then on the day before i actually uh used uh three i believe it was three oranges and some uh teriyaki marinade teriyaki marinade sauce and got a little ziploc bag and put them in there and have the juices overnight so I could really penetrate into the meat. And then maybe like two hours before I was actually going to start cooking, took it out. So it will go down to room te- uh, temperature because you don't want to put a piece of meat that's cold from the inside, especially a piece of steak. Cause then it's just, just don't do it. It's going to be, you, it's going to be hard for you to come up with that pink line. If you're looking for the pink line, especially for a tri-tip, I believe it just becomes grayish and just, yeah. Because now you're trying to cook the inter- internal temperatures, but you're already, you're, you're putting it right off the fridge to the grill. Not a good, yeah, take it out. <laughs> just to follow my advice and just, just take it out, get it, get it, get down to room temperature, and then go for it. And, we'll, and I was saying, I'm, so one of the more important things, of course, season your meat, but the fire, the heat on the grill. You know, if you're using charcoal, charcoal, uh, or propane, or wood fire, whatever you're using, just make sure you have good heat. I've been using a lot of um, the San Marino style type of grill. So a combination of charcoal with wood. Yeah, you have to, in my experience, you have to get, you know, you might have a lot of flame. You know, when you start, it doesn't mean it's ready to go. Let it settle. Let it get hot. 
let the um let the wood turn into uh you know uh break down a little bit so then it could turn into coals and use the the you know whatever bags of coals they use to start up and let that get hot and intense until you get that heat that where it's not just hot because of the flame but it's actually hot because of the coals that's when you get the best uh, the best heat to to uh to barbecue your meat of course and 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 keep it up too you have to keep keep up the flames and uh, then definitely for the tri tip i you know to prepare for for the tri tip for the long run because i know it's going to be a cook time about an hour that's what i've read and saw in youtube videos so an hour before start up the, the fire you know get it get it going get it going then you know put more logs to get it going to the to this you know to the the the, the heat i wanted to keep it at or it wasn't just flames, but it was actual the heat. And then, um, yeah, and then I had to just play with it. Um, you know, keep it to the the Stanmere uh, grills. They, you know, whoever don't know don't don't know about the Stanmere grills, they they have a leveling system where you can level your meat, uh, you know, top to bottom, to so get it closer to the to to the fire, or you know, you just raise it up, and it gets uh, farther away from the fire. So you can kind of just. You go, you know, you just uh, go from there. You just keep keep checking. It's it's it's, it's all a balance. You, you know, where your where your fire is at. Um, how close do you want it? Um, how do, you know you want it to um, sear the uh, the meat or so. And then if you're cooking something else, let's say some pieces of a chorizo or linguiça or whatever, you know, other pieces of meat, then you have to worry about you know what the fire for those pieces of meat. But I was uh, cooking chorizo with it, and it goes perfectly fine because it's not as thick as tri but it needs quite a while because it is quite um, thick. But yeah, just uh, so it came out. I think it can, they came out great. Of course, you could always improve. I'm not saying I'm a master at it. Not a master at tri I'm not saying I am. I'm definitely not. I'm definitely saying I'm not a master at it. But for my first time, uh, I'll give myself... Uh, uh, an A, A minus. <laughs> I might be just being quite generous, but hey, it, it was it was good. It was good. So let's see next time. Um, hope I don't jinx myself, and next time doesn't come out as good. But yeah, I was uh very glad to do my first try tip, and that I really ate it, really liked it, and uh, you know when when uh, there's when they, they're they're all finished, that means it was um it was good. So. So yeah, that was my Sunday. Then on um, what is it? On uh, on Tuesday, I went to help out with the county clinic, help out people uh, get their vaccines for uh, COVID. And uh, I thought I was gonna be inside all day, and it turns out to be I was outside. So I was like, man, where was? Where, I wish I would have known. I brought my hiking hat. <laughs> so. Definitely got my 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 sun time in my was it vitamin D they say, but it was a it was a it was a great experience, nothing negative. Everybody was really happy to be getting their vaccines and um, everything went smooth and um, yeah it was it was a it was a good time. It was a uh, just like being at customer service. Uh, I I felt like I was at Disneyland. Not be, not not because of the ride stuff like that. Just because there was a line, you know, we had to be directing people how to get in line and how you know waiting and stuff like that. And then sometimes the line will get short, so we would let them cut through the uh the, some of the barriers and be like, hey, you guys been upgraded and you guys got the fast pass. It's a joke, so we you know we kept it nice and lively and light. So um, yeah, it was it was good. Could just be out in the community, be out in the sun. Helping out, and then the was it the that was on Tuesday. Oh, then on Wednesday I actually got my uh, second shot of uh, Moderna. I, that one was in uh, Santa Maria, and it was um the line didn't go as smooth as when I was helping out in Lompoc <laughs> on on Tuesday. But they did they did have more, much more people too. So 
but either way it was um took uh took the shot um i tell you that uh, this is my second shot um as what is it like an hour later quick got de definitely got sleepy uh so yeah i took a took a nap and then three hours after after the after my shot i, I my I, I i took it on my left arm and definitely felt it really sore much more sore than the first time i took a shot and then just felt kind of just soreness and then the next day definitely felt tired it was like um congestion if you fuck uh congestion but it but not full-on congestion it was kind of like allergies congestion but i'm not I'm, i don't get allergies so and then like a small headache would start but then it would just go away at one point i felt my throat like it was gonna start hurting but then it stopped but definitely a weakness um didn't get as much as like let's say my body ached but it was i definitely felt weak um yeah definitely it's definitely true when they say take your se your second shot you know just take it easy then for the next you know 24 hours after that i i didn't i didn't, I didn't completely feel sick but I definitely felt weakened yeah but now it's um friday and um it's been um just a, what the three days it's gonna wednesday yeah three days since i took it so i feel fine now feel good so yeah i guess um <laughs> oh my dad says i guess they put a chip on me now <laughs> Uh, according to these conspiracy theories. Ay, ay, ay. I sense his love here and there. They get the, these advice from uh, other people and, you know, they they believe them more than the professionals or the, or, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, you try to ed educate them. Or, I don't say educate them, but, you know. Uh, help them out so yeah that's um been my week's uh event so far um oh definitely um uh, recommend uh was that yesterday i went to eat at aj spurs you guys don't know there's there's two restaurants here in the central coast the one's in uh rio grande and the other one's in bilton um uh, they're both good um uh, yeah so yeah some definitely some good eating uh, they they this they have not paid me to say anything like this. Uh, just telling you guys, I want to eat there, and I've gone to eat a lot of times, and I always leave satisfied. Uh, good food. Uh, definitely recommend the uh, pork ribs. The pork ribs are really good. All right, so we're gonna jump into the music now. Not as much music was released as a uh, last week, but you know uh definitely music was released um we're gonna start off with el fantasma came out with el rey del mundo recommend it good song i don't know let me let me, let me see who composed it oh he composed it with uh written by yeah looks like he composed it with uh and then from um uh, calibre 50 oh, pretty cool el rey del mundo so there you go guys and girls yeah so definitely rec rec recommend el rey del mundo by el fantasma good song uh, another one uh por no perderte te perdí los plebes del rancho by los plebes del rancho de ariel camacho and cristian nodal there's there's another right there check it out not bad and let's see what's next uh oh uh, yes uh ando tomando by ulises chaides well, he came out with the with the whole album, the there's a Navalato Vengo, Volume One. My personal taste, uh, that's the only song I like, the Ando Tomando. It's yeah, it's it's a good song, nice lively song, the Rancherita. Um, the other stuff is uh, quite romantic, more like uh, more what uh, Ulises Chaides, more uh, it's more used to. Uh, if, you, if you listen to him or what you used to listen and what he mostly takes out but this one was you know a nice little lively song sounds uh 
una canción muy, muy alegre. So, definitely check it out. It's called Ando, Ando Tomando by Ul 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 Ulises Chaides. And then, uh, next one, uh, this is a song that I've heard a long, long, long time ago. But uh, Grupo, Grupo Codiciado has uh, released it. It's called uh, Chingón de Chingones. <laughs> what, a, what a title, huh? Um, I I do remember that uh, Los Razos back in early 2000s, I, I, I believe, they they, they, uh, they came out with, with that song. That was one of their hits. I don't think it got much radio playback because of what it says, but definitely it was one of their one of their hits. So yeah, check it out. It, it, it was kind of it's interesting that I had talked in other episodes of, you know, like Entre Perico y Perico has, has been coming out. A lot of people have been uh, uh, singing it. Another another song de los rastros now. These guys with uh, Chingon and Chingones. So looks like definitely people are looking back at the catalog of older artists. Which is nothing new. Um, you know, looking back at catalogs of older art, artists and making it, making a cover of it, which is per perfectly fine. A great example of of of, of uh, somebody got huge, huge. I mean, huge for making a cover. Um, and it, it really doesn't get talked too much. But I mean, Lupio Rivera did covers of Pedro Infante. I mean, Despreciado. I mean, was. Uh, you know, a huge hit for him, and it was a cover of the Pedro Infante. You know, Copa Tras Copas. There are some other songs that you know he sang uh, that were for Pedro Infante, or at least originally came out from Pedro Infante. I don't say Pedro Infante composed them, but they were known as Pedro Infante songs. And that's great. He modernized it. He made it into his own. You know. And he got huge over it, and that's, you know, todos tienen el derecho de, you know, de, de, to, uh, to succeed, you know? But, um, yeah, I've definitely seen a trend of, of people, um, of artists going back and looking, uh, looking back at those older catalogs and, taking out songs and that's great it's a lot of good music a lot of good music out there all right we're gonna go next with the song uh jefe zambada it's uh los dos primos la duda y banda corona del rey nice corrido uh, man todos por le todos le le están cantando a zambada ahorita puros corridos de zambada <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's another corrida right there. Uh, pretty good. And then we have uh, another song is El Señor del Saco by Martin Castillo. Songs, songs not bad. I mean, if you like or you don't like Martin Castillo, that's up to you. But definitely like how the the song goes. And um, yeah, so that's another recommendation right there, El Señor del Saco by Martin Castillo. And then another one is. En un, en un segundo by uh, Los Dos de Tamaulipas. Check it out. They kind of have an old, old school type of um, conjunto type of feel to it. Don't want to classify a song, but definitely, um, not definitely, but um, I, one of those songs where it's hitting you in una borrachera. You know, it's, it's just one of those uh, songs that you, you, would, you would request. Yeah, and then uh, we have uh, another song is Las, Las Frases del Amigo by Los Austeros de Durango. Definitely another song I'm recommending. Uh, Los Austeros de Durango, I don't mind their recordings, but I've seen them live a couple times. And they're awesome live. I think their recordings don't, don't give them proper credit of how good they sound live. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, there's some groups where I think in a live, a live situation they 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 sound so much better than uh, recording studio. I don't know. They get, there's some t you know 
they're nervous so they don't play together while they're recording you know they they record separate tracks or so or but i don't know the reason but this group of los Asteros de durango sounds so much better live it's just um you know they were they, they've been tour, tour, touring with el fantasma and uh Bos de mando and these big uh concerts they would have in like um arenas or so and um yeah i definitely recommend them there you know view i think uh that tour was called uh, ranchando en la ciudad and if they ever go back to um you know those 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 giras definitely recommend going watching them um it was man it was a uh, it was austero durango it was canales it was um of course Bos de mando and um in el fantasma so it was definitely four hours of good great not good just great entertainment oh and actually one of them was uh even el potro was with them potro sinaloa i mean come on <laughs> that lineup itself i mean talk you know it's 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 if you can't f have fun and with that lineup like then you don't have a soul <laughs> Like seriously, but uh, yeah. So, um, but again, there's another song, uh, song de los Asteros de Durango, la frase del del amigo. Um, and that's it for uh, the new releases of um, Friday, April second. Now I'm. What I've been doing is I've been recommending older CDs. Last time I recommended um, uh, some uh, Chal Chalino CDs and Laul Gallo. Today I'm gonna go with uh, one of uh, Laul Gallo's kids, which is Juel Elizalde, and I'm gonna I'm gonna recommend um, Juel Juel Elizalde. It's with uh, Los Coyonquis de Sergio Tapia, which is a great banda, great great banda, and uh, this one. Come, uh, comes with um, Linda Guarita one of my personal favorite songs forever and I will say it's one of my per you know just love this song wish it could be sang more uh, his dad actually sang it as well La Olga Yo Sing It El Callejero love that song Lo love it love, love it it's one of my go-to songs you know, unfortunately not a lot of people know it not a lot of conjuntos know it but if they do, um, makes this guy really happy. <laughs> and then one of an, Anita's favorite songs, uh, Catarino y los Rurales, uh, comes with Las la Cachas de Oro, El Corrido de la Noria, great song, Arriba Mr. Naloa, another good song, Pedro Aviles, another good song, Las Torres de Puebla, another great song, Mujeres Sin Corazón, another good song, Lola, Great song, El Palo Verde. That's one of my favorite zapateados to dance to. Uh, Las Tecoleñas, great song. La, la, la Ametralladora. <laughs> nice romantic song to... Uh, nice romantic song, La Ametralladora. La, la Ametralladora. Is a, it's a great romantic song to... Uh, dedicated to any loved ones. <laughs> Trust me, makes it memorable. But <laughs> yeah, so so I, I definitely recommend you or anybody, especially if you're male and if you're dedicated to a female, okay? <laughs> All right, and then it has Las Calabazas, another great song. And then lastly, El Doctor Fonseca, Great Corrido. Again, his, his dad, I'll let you actually sing that song. Definitely recommend that that CD. It's a great CD, great great CD to have. Banda sounds good. Well, his range is awesome. He could sing low, he could sing high. Definitely re recommend that CD to everybody. And then another one of his older CDs is uh, he sings this one uh, con con la banda Los Nuevos Santa Rosa. Great CD. Banda sounds good. Uh, it has a. Um, this one uh, has uh, it starts with Inviano Triste, Al Mismo Nivel. Great song. Uh, Donde Caigo, Irresistible, Arrancame la Vida. Great song. Brindo, 40 Cartes, another good song. La Yaca. 
a rare song, but really good song. Triste Desengaño. Then it has Dolor de Mi Dolor. Great song that I wish somebody will record it again. Definitely has a good lyrics. Um, I think if somebody, somebody new would, um, some new artist would bring it back up. Definitely get a lot of playtime. Um, then a lot of uh, another uh, popular song I hear it a lot with in Sinaloa. También las lluvias, también las lluvias se van. Great song. Uh, si me quisieras, another good song. Then it has a popurri in there. Uh, it has el este colotito, el gavilán, el pagaré, la vaquilla colorado, colorada, vaquilla colorada, uh, el gavilancillo. The popurri is really good. So that's the uh, the two older CDs that I recommend from uh, Juan Elizalde. Then he does have um, he does have a, a, a two new ones that he has recorded. Um, some of it has uh, you know uh, has well, some of his dad songs and some of it has of his his songs, but. It's called uh, Jolie Salde desde la Llegada del 50. This vol volume one and two. Definitely recommend it. It's good. The first volume has him uh, uh, a dueto with uh, Calibre 50 and Banda Carnaval. Actually, the Banda Carnaval is playing with him on those two CDs in vivo. So check out. Check, uh, definitely check, check out his... Uh, the discog discography or his all, i'll just say all the all his discs <laughs> but yeah uh he, he has those two near ones on live let me check it out all right so those are my re recommendations for this uh week again don't forget to um follow alice mike's podcast on facebook same name instagram alice mike po podcast and on a uh, YouTube channel as well, same name, Alice Mike's Podcast. And uh, thank you for all the um, encouragement. So this podcast has been encouraged <laughs> by uh, CA Truck Lines, Smart Stop Insurance, JC Herrera Trucking, Unique Janitorial. Thank you so much for all the encouragement. And recently, uh, I just went over the mark of 100 downloads uh, in total for podcasts. So thanks for everybody that's been listening. Thank you. Thank you uh, for, you know, of course, listening. And, you know, if you guys are spreading out the word. Thank you. Yeah, this is just a, it's a new adventure, a uh, new venture for me. And uh, I don't see it. I don't see it as much as a, a hobby, but seeing as a, you know, just a, 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 a new venture, a new, uh, something new for me that I'm really enjoying doing it and come, you know, uh, with all this content. And don't forget, guys and girls or everybody that's listening. This week, I just released a, a conversation with Anita, which is my mom. It is funny. She tells all the stories. Uh, she tells a lot of stories about her childhood and how uh, how her mischief and how traviesa. She, I mean, she still is, but she she was. Uh, funny stories. Uh, if you actually, if but there was a uh, if you fast forward to the seventy eight minute mark, I believe seventy eight or seventy seven minute mark. It's there's a really funny section in there. Man, there's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will tell you guys, but like, you guys have to just listen to it, okay? Definitely worth it. Um, and then I have other uh, conversations with Corny. Don't forget, I got his hunting stories, and then on episode two, I mean, there's a uh, quite interesting to hear about it. So episode two with uh, conversation with Corny, definitely good listen to. So. Then I have my old my older uh, Music Fridays that you guys listen to. More uh, recommendations of music that came out during that week. And, of course, older CDs that I recommend and some rants about music. So, yeah, check them out. Uh, there'll be more conversations coming up. Uh, definitely another conversation with Corny and, and Anita. 
Yeah, so there's definitely more content going to come up. Again, thank you to everybody that's been uh, uh, listening. You know, I've, I've seen uh, people from, you know, from the from the map that I get people. So uh, from the map that tells me where people are listening to, thank you for everybody who's been listening from Berkeley, San Francisco, uh, Oxnard. I see some Simi Valley, San Diego, uh, Phoenix, Woodland Hills. Uh, Anaheim, uh, Palmdale, of course, Santa Maria. I mean, had some random listening from uh, New York. So thank you to the, <laughs> we're listening from all the way over there. Uh, we have some people from uh, uh, Mexico. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's what kind of vaguely shows me in the map where people have been uh, listening from. So thank you. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to finish it off. Hey, everybody, have a great weekend, a great week. Again, don't forget to follow and like my Facebook page and Instagram, Al Mike's Podcast, and the same name. Thank you very much for listening. And again, I'll end off. Uh, have a good one. Don't forget to smile. If nobody smiles back, smile, smile in the mirror. And somebody smiling back at you. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody have a good one. And um, hopefully hear from you guys soon. Thank you.